by the Blue Storm Gears from Western Massachusetts. We are a team participating in this year's first Lego League Championship, FLL. FLL is, has three main components, Project, Core Values, and Robot. We're here to talk to you about Project. In Project, there's a theme every year. This year's theme is Trash Trick. You have to find a piece of trash and find a better route for it. We chose plastic bags. Our town of Westford has a lot of recycling, but unfortunately, the vendors do not accept plastic bags for recycling for one main reason. They don't get enough money from recycling the plastic bags. So what can happen is that if plastic bags are thrown in the trash and are not properly disposed, they can end up harming the humans the, and the environment. For us to fully understand the impact in our town, we took a survey and we found lots of info interesting information. The majority of us visit the grocery store one to two times once to twice a week. With about 5,000 families in our community, that's about 100,000 plastic bags. With, with that many plastic bags, if we could find a better way to recycle them, that would save us a lot of money. Our town Westford does not accept curbside recycling for plastic bags, so people just tend to throw their plastic bags in uh, normal trash or recycling. This led us to realize that we had to start from home because that's where all the mixing started. Um, this is why we thought of the idea of a prototype. So it's a two compartment box, one for trash and one for plastic bags. When the box for plastic bags gets filled up, you can go to a local store such as Marky Basket or Shaw's and they will recycle it for you. Raising awareness was another great objective of ours. Many people don't realize how much easier it is to recycle plastic bags compared to paper bags, which take about 90 more percent to produce and 40 more percent to recycle. So, we created a skit that shows the harmful effects of plastic bags when they end up in rivers, oceans, or ponds. <coughs> Please watch our skit. <coughs> Thank you for watching this video and helping and help and helping us spread awareness about this issue. If you want to work, learn more, please look at our blog. The link is below this video. Thank you. We are the Blue Star Kids. Yay! everyone. We are the Blue Storm Gears from Western Massachusetts taking part in a competition called FLL, First Lego League, and we are very pleased here to be with State Representative Jim, Jim Arcerio. Thank you for your time here. Thank you. It's quite an honor to be here with the, uh, the Blue Storm Gear team. Uh, exciting, exciting things you guys are doing. Can you tell me a little bit about what you folks are all about? So, we're here to talk to you about the project, which is one of the three main components in FLL. And this year's theme for project is trash truck, which means you have to pick a trash and you have to find a better way that it's been handled or the way it's being manufactured or disposed. So we chose plastic bags because it harms the humans and, environment and the environment in many ways. And I think Alex can tell you a little bit more on how it harms the human race and environment. Um, so basically, <coughs> it can harm the human environment in many ways, mm -hmm. um, and animals. 
Um, one way is that it pollute when plastic bags are put in the wrong place, such as like fresh water sources. It can pollute animals and us. Another way is um the plastic can uh, take up like animal habitats mm -hmm. and um sorry I can tell you more so our town westford um incinerates trash and if people um just mix trash in plastic bags the, it's going to be burnt and it could release toxic gases into the atmosphere which would harm animals environment our environment and would um contribute to global warming i think amita could tell you a bit more too it can harm people by polluting our drinking water, and it can. We can also, if if a fish eats plastic, it can become your dinner. That's very scary. <laughs> Let's ask Veronica and see what she knows. Um, do you have any more questions? I do. So it, it affects the entire ecosystem. So that actually changes everything, right? It's not just humans, yeah. right? Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. And how does that affect our environment? Because, um, it, like Surya said, it can cause to greenhouse gases and it can cause to global warming. And if when plastic bags end up in landfills, they go to, um, they like fly away or go to the ocean and the fish eats it. And then we, if we eat the fish, not seeing the plastic bag, it, it causes like harmful chemicals. Mm -hmm. And I think then, then I can tell you more about that. Um, when you, uh, when, when you put plastic inside of a dump, it can get into your um, water supply, and that can um, make it harmful for what you're drinking. And I think some um, Brown can tell you more facts. So, um, it can, if you um, so if you throw away plastic bags, it either goes to an incinerator or a landfill. If it goes to an incinerator, the plastic bags are burned and raise greenhouse gases. And if it goes to a landfill, it can fly away or get stuck in animals' mouths. And if it goes into the ocean, then it can like choke animals or it can um, trap them. So you, so you, you guys on the blue storm gear, how are you guys going to you know, get your arms around this environmental issue that could be happening any, you know, sort of body mass of water anywhere here or in Westford or in your region. How, how could this team um, work to sort of uh, get your arms around that and eradicate that? So Surya can tell you about that. Sure. So where the mixing starts is at home. That's why we created this box which separates trash and plastic bags. So this is your plastic bags compartment, and this is your trash compartment right here. So this separates it and stops the mixing so you don't have to go through more processes that um, in, instead of like doing that. Um, so another solution we have is awareness and basically what we're doing is like um hanging up posters and making it aware that plastic bags are a problem and we've had a good impact so far and uh venus can tell you more about a great story that happened through her school so in my school i wrote an article for the school newspaper and my principal read that and she asked me to take a survey on how many kids use plastic bags each day and i came back to her the next day and found like um, i told her that 122 plastic bags are being used each day so she wanted to do something about that so her and the pto raised money to buy recycle bins for each class and the kids don't use plastic bags that much instead for alternatives they use recycle recycling reusable plastic boxes. Um, another thing we did for um, awareness is we went to Shaw's and gave out surveys to everyone and they um, told that they, s we uh, it kind of like told us um, more about like plastic bags and we got lots of facts from that. So we took the survey at Shaw's to see if people actually liked our prototype and if they were willing to recycle plastic bags and if they thought our awareness campaign was successful. And one more thing that I'm going to add on is we also went to personally our 
a, the day school here in Westford, Massachusetts. And we, at, we took a survey with our classmates and we met up with the principal and we, we had like a long discussion with them asking if, you know, we could like hang up posters around the school to spread awareness more and we're going to do a presentation in front of the school. So would you have, do you have any other questions? Yeah, I do. So how would the robotics piece of this work with your, your, your project you have here? Great question. So <laughs> the, the robotics piece, we have challenges mm -hmm. and this year's challenges, since the theme is Trash Trek, the, the challenges are based on like trash and types of trash and stuff. So it's it's like trash related theme, but the way to solve it doesn't really have to do much with like solving the trash. And maybe a couple more of our teammates that are experts on the robot can tell you more about well, that. Well, let me ask before you start, where is the robot? Is he, is he around? Um. Oh, well, it's actually at one of our houses. Okay. So basically um, we're working on it. And basically, our goal is to score 700 points. Um, like, uh, in total, you can probably get around 900 at, like, the maximum. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, there's a limited time, like, 2 minutes and 30 seconds for your robot to do things. Um, so, basically, Surya can tell you more. So all the challenges on the Trash Trek board are um, based on like real real life situations. So they're plastic bags that are taking up a turtle's habitat, mm -hmm. and they're um, they're like uh, there's a composter which you have to push to release compost, and you have to sort out um, recycling bars um, from trash bars. So you, your robot's solving like. Real world tasks, except in a smaller ver version. Now, how many um, other uh, groups are you folks competing with? There's uh, a number of other student groups throughout the state, throughout so the country. We made it to the state competition, mm -hmm. and we're expecting around um, 80, 80 teams to uh, participate in it. So that's just in Massachusetts. That's just Massachusetts, okay. Yeah, but it goes all around the world. Okay. Yeah, so I think Ankit can add some more. So basically, um, uh, after so we advanced from the regionals, which was like uh, about our thirty, like twenty to thirty teams in the regionals. But now states, there's more competition. If we advance, then we'll go to the World Festival, and that's like the last competition because teams all around the world will come. So the so the the national competition where is that going to be held? Do you guys know? Here to move on. That will be held in St. St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, Missouri, okay. So um, um, Dean Kamen, who invent who um, is the founder of First for FLL, FTC, and FRC, he will be there, and you might have a chance to meet him. Oh, that'd be nice. If you go. Absolutely. So. So what is the next steps now, guys? You're still, you said that your your robot is now at, at somebody's house, right? And you're still doing some work on it. How much more work needs to be done? Um, so um, our robot just needs some final touches and our project. Um, we just, we're going to have a presentation at the day school pretty soon on Wednesday. And once we finish that up, we can wrap all our things and we'll be ready for the competition on Saturday. And where's the competition going to be held? <laughs> WPI, okay, and you're going to have yes. 86, or is it 87 other groups that are going to be there? Yeah. It's going to be pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Does it start early in the morning? Yes, it starts around 9 o'clock. Now, do you have any insight into your competition, what, what sort of, you know, uh, plans they have, or what you're competing with? So, so we only know a few teams that are in it, so some teams that were in a group called the Middlesex County Robotics Club, and there's um, about five other teams that made it, too. So we know about them, but we don't know about all the other teams. Do you have any other questions? I do. I want to know, um, how did you guys decide that this is something you wanted to get involved in? I mean, think about all the schools we have here in Westford. Um, there's nine members of this team, right? And you're the only team in, in the Westford schools from grades four to six. And there's a high school team too as well? <laughs> what did you say? 
So you have other comp you have other um, teams that are competing within Westford as well. How many other teams are there? There are a few others. Okay. There, are all of them actually were actually part of the Middlesex County Robotics Club. Okay. Some of the other teams are like are like the purple storm gears, the red storm gears, the green storm gears, the orange storm storm gears, and, and I think maybe there's the black storm gears. Okay. So I met one of the the the, the storm gears before, which had green t-shirts, right? Is that the high school yeah. team? Okay, I no, had a t-shirt from them. I I think that's the green storm gears. The green storm gears. Okay. I think that. Uh, and that's the high school group, right? No. Did they just travel last year? Did they yeah, travel? Yeah, yeah, they went yeah. to the festival. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. And. Um, <clears throat> so basically, um, I think there are uh, five other Storm Gears that made it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so basically, the Green Storm Gears did not make it, but all the others made it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, Surya can tell you more about. So we're part of the Middlesex County Robotics Club, which um, which is re uh, which um, Creation Station runs, and they're in Westford, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and they give us all the pieces and parts, and they let us use their place um, to hold our meetings every Sunday, and we'd like to thank them for all this, and uh, yeah. So we would like to uh, um, we would like to t t talk to you about why we invited you here. Mm -hmm. So Veronica will tell you about why we invited you. I thought it was because I was a nice guy. You know, is that, that <laughs> not the only reason why? Okay, there's another reason I didn't know. All right. Um, we want to ask you if you could help um, give awareness to other towns that we can't reach besides Westford. That would be great. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, if you can also help us spread the awareness, mm -hmm. and like she said, like, spread it to a different towns, and then, then I would like to tell more about that. Uh, like, we, you can help us spread the word and make sure other um, places will, like, have awareness for plastic bags and try their best to not use plastic bags. And Ankit will tell you more. <laughs> <coughs> um, so basically, um, so in the Normandy Day School, we made bins for recycling plastic bags. Um, basically, uh, uh, our parents volunteered to like uh, put, put them in stores. And um, basically, uh, we don't know how if, if other schools would work that way. So that's another thing. Anybody want to add anything? I can. So going, trailing on for what Ankit was saying, he'd ask you if somehow you could like, you know, kind of make a way that the 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 trash people can come and like there can be like a separate way to get the plastic bags so that they can drop it off at like Market Basket Shaw's or something. So just the thing that you can think about. Yeah, I think it's um, <coughs> extremely important that um, not only this community, as you guys were saying, but yeah. you know, I represent in the legislature, I represent Chelmsford and Littleton, and um, the greater Lowell area. Um, I do a, a lot of work um, in the legislature for the region, but also statewide. And I would be happy to promote the great things you guys are doing here, not just for science, tech, technology, engineering, and math, and not just for robotics, but also for being environmentally conscious uh, young people here and making sure that moving forward, um, you know, we, we become more you know, environmentally concerned about uh, our future, our environment, and having a sustainable community. We appreciate that. Thank you Happy very much. Happy to do it. I, I just wanted to say, guys, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Getting you. this far is, is just a, an, an enormous accomplishment. And it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Your parents, obviously, and uh, the Creation Station team has, has worked really hard to make sure this is going to be a success. So I just want to wish you well. Um, this looks like a project that um, certainly is not only going to influence people at WPI Saturday morning, but I think influence not only people in your age group, but, but people throughout the state. And I'm very proud to be here tonight to talk to you and have a few questions about it. And I can't wait to see this demonstration. Thank you very much. When do you think we can do that? Pretty soon? Yes. Okay.
Fantastic. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. It was a hot and humid summer day at the lake. Ankit and his friends were going on a fishing trip. Ankit had almost finished his snack and was about to throw the plastic bag into the lake, but stopped when he heard his friend say, Ankit, stop, don't do it. Littering plastic bags can cause harm to all the animals that are inside the lake. What do you mean? There's a snack inside, the fish might like it. Besides, what can one plastic bag do harm to the environment? Ankit throws a plastic bag into the lake. In denial, Ankit, my friend. friend. You'll be, be sorry. Ankit and his friends get ready for their fishing trip, and just in some time... I caught, I a, caught fish. a fish! I caught a fish! Ankit and his friends go home to cook their fish. Ankit had caught the largest fish and could not wait to make a tasty meal out of it. But when he cut open his fish, he found something totally unexpected. The plastic bag that he threw in the morning. What? My friends were right about plastic bags harming the environment. What have I done? Ankit informed his friends of his situation the next day. See, Ankit, remember what we told you? Yeah, if you didn't throw the plastic bag in the lake, you would have been able to eat your fish. You're right, I shouldn't have done that. Ankit tells his principal that if he could hang up posters around the school and give out a survey to his classmates. Wow, Ankit, I'm very happy to see you this interested in the environment. No other student has ever showed this much. Okay, thank you. Say, you look like the fish I caught yesterday. Ankit hands out the survey to his classmates. Okay, here everyone, give them back to me and fill them out as soon as possible. All of Ankit's teachers and classmates filled out a survey. In conclusion, most people went shopping once to twice a week and mixed trash and plastic bags. Ankit, with help of his Blue Storm Gears buddies, of course, wanted to make sure that recycling plastic bags started from home. So they created a combo box that would separate trash and plastic bags. Ankit, with help of his Blue Storm Gears buddies, also made posters that they hung around the school to raise awareness about plastic bags. Ankit is a great role model for all of us to follow for many reasons. One, he learned from his mistakes, but he also has been helping more and more people not make the same mistake so the environment and human race can be happy and healthy. We are the Blue Storm Gears. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kush Gami and I am Narrator 1. Hi, my name is Veronica and I am Narrator 2. Hello, my name is Varun Kaushik and I am Narrator 2. Hi, my name is Ankit and I'm the kid. Hi, I'm Amita and I'm friend two. Hi, I'm Venus and I'm friend one. Hi, I'm Surya and I'm fish three and principal. Hi, I'm Alex and I'm fish two. Hi, I'm Nandana and I'm fish number one. Thank you! <laughs>